Paul. I want to thank you once again, and I want to tell you my name is Brenda Carol Lee Wilson, and I'm 54 years old. I'm going through some physical changes in this stage of my life that affect my train of thought, and to give you the best of what I've got, I may have to use my cheat notes here, because I don't want to lose what it is that I want to make uh, relevant to today's uh, taping that we're doing. First of all, I am not an expert in homelessness. I have no doctorate in that field. But I was homeless more than once, and my last stint ran for four years and eight months, of which three years and two months was in the public shelter system in the District of Columbia. Never in my lifetime did I have the experiences or the education that I have gotten from being homeless. People act as if homelessness is catchy, like it's a disease and it's worse than AIDS. People think that because you are homeless, you are mindless. People believe that it is something you willingly brought upon yourself because of consequences of your actions. True for some, but not the majority. Our country was founded on the principle of freedom to worship. Amen. Our Constitution guarantees us certain inalienable rights, and we, i.e. the homeless, rely on freedom of speech, to own our own property, and the right to assemble, which brings us here today. Long ago, our nation adopted as our national motto, in God we trust. Yet since homelessness has become a nationwide epidemic, it has been replaced with no lottery. You cannot stand around and occupy space anymore without a threat of someone calling the police. No staring aimlessly into space while occupying space, since that implies mental illness and might get you a two-week evaluation at a local institution not of your liking. You cannot just take five uh, anywhere anymore, especially if you are carrying everything you own as homeless individuals must do. We are not welcome in any public places, and what is worse, no one wants to see us. Homelessness means you are without a foundation, not a spiritual foundation, not an educational foundation, but a financial foundation that enables one to provide a roof and a bed to call their own. Homeless individuals are homeless because they cannot afford housing for whatever reason. We are a nation that has made affordable housing and obtaining assisted housing nearly obsolete. And yet our United States is the greatest and wealthiest nation in the history of the world. What is wrong with this picture? When humans must grovel daily for a place to rest from the long day. When humans must to submit to indignities while having to do what every living creature that God placed on this earth must do. Eat, go to the bathroom, and for women, monthly needs. All because we lack a home. The Homeless Services Reform Act bill of the District of Columbia, and now law, guarantees homeless individuals the same rights as our nation's constitution. Why are we, homeless, singled out to have our own constitution? Is it because we are so often denied these rights? I have been put out of a public shelter on a hypothermia day, it was Christmas Eve 2004, which is against the law because I stood up for another client's rights. I have had my bed taken away from me after sleeping in it for 19 months at a public shelter when I called the Department of Human Services for 13 days straight because they refused to provide us with drinking water, which is an OSHA and a building code law, which, excuse me, which OSHA and building law codes require. I have spent the entire day playing phone tag with government officials when the public shelter tried to cut off the entire water system during the time the clients were allowed to actually be in the building. And when one government person left a message on my cell phone that incriminated those responsible, and I promised to print this in street sense, the district's homeless newspaper, I got a resolution to the problem. Within five minutes, of that phone call, the shelter had the water turned back on, and never again did they attempt to do that while I was there. Homelessness will never go away. If everyone had a home tonight, tomorrow there would be more homelessness, or homeless, homeless people. 
A sinkhole could swallow your home. Tornadoes could take it to Kansas. Fires could consume it. Domestic violence could make you leave it. Mental illness, where is my home? Do I have a home? For whatever reason, it will always be a part of our society. We need solutions, such as a system in each community, supported by the community, to catch those in the community and help them find their way home so no one is truly left behind. We need to make it a thousand percent to tax deductible, federal and state, a hundred percent funded by the private sector. Our government does not have any more money for the homeless, and it cannot meet the financial needs of the homeless today or tomorrow. It has proven that to us from the past. We as a people need to go as a people and support ourselves as a people. Please help us to help ourselves. A majority of us are able, and we are a wasted reserve. There is a better way, and in God I trust that you can help us find it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.